Hi guys, today I will show you how to make this effect. I don't know how this effect is called, if you know, let me know in the comments. Select your clip then go to tracker and click on track camera. As the analyzing is done, select some points on the car, right click and select, create solid and camera. Position it, change X, Y and Z rotations, also scale it as much you need. I will duplicate solid layer now and change position of it. So I am going to make two collage of my videos. If you want more, duplicate more solids and position them in order. In my case I will stay on two. Let's toggle of one of the solids now. Then right click on the other one and pre-compose it. Make sure leave all attributes is selected and rename it to one. You can rename it to whatever you want. Now double click on layer one. Delete track solid there. Now grab a rectangle tool and draw a shape something like this or make any shape you want. Once you've got a shape, copy that shape. We will need to paste that shape to our another solid a bit later. Now go to project and add your video you want to make an effect on. Now click on toggle switches. Change your video's track mat to shape layer 1. Now toggle on shape layer 1 and change mode to screen. Now go back to composition. First one is ready. Toggle on your another solid layer and do the same. Right click on it and pre-compose it. I will name it 2. Double click on layer 2. Delete track solid here as well. And now paste here the shape you have copied earlier. Add here your another clip and do the same we did to the previous one. Once you are done, select both solids and press S on your keyboard, now scale then both as much as you need. Also change X, Y and Z rotations if needed, and position where you want. Once you are done with positioning, let's make this effect behind the car. To do so, duplicate your actual clip and move it to the top, rename it to Car Only, and make sure to delete 3D Tracker on it. Now grab a Roto Brush tool and double click on Car Only layer. Select your car now, try to make selection as smooth as possible. Once you are done with selection, click on Freeze button. As the freezing is done, go back to composition. If the car is not perfect on the edges, add a feather a bit. Now let's make a reveal animation and we are done. Select your layer 1 and press P on your keyboard, then hold shift and press S and R button. This will show only position, scale, and rotation. Go a few frames forward and click on position, scale, and Y rotation stopwatch icons. Now go to very beginning of the layer and change position like this. Change scale amount to 0. Change Y rotation value to 2. Revealing effect is ready. Enable motion blur on layer 1. Cool but, let's make it smoother. Press U to see created keyframes on layer 1. Select all keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Then go to graph editor, right click and select, edit speed graph. Now make a smooth curve like mine or play around until it makes you happy. Copy these keyframes now and paste them to your second layer. Press U to see keyframes, now go to the last keyframes and then move second layer's position to the right. I don't like the animation, I will move second layer's keyframes forward a bit, so now they will reveal in order. Once you are happy, enable motion blur on that layer as well. This effect is ready, you can now add a glow on both layers to make them shiny a bit. Hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and like the video please.